Welcome back once again, gang, for probably the final installation of Fallout 4 Barren Wood mod. And I might continue coming back and playing here. There's two locations for setting up new settlements. I love challenges like that. Building and expanding. But back up here, you may remember when I came up through that away. The house on the top of the hill had the basement. Hadn't checked it out yet. Let's do it. Somebody had a fort of really reinforced, you know, basement area. Mikhail invoice. Invoice shipment, 150 cinder blocks, two shovels, 15 cans of paint. Eggshell. Thanks for your purchase at Mikhail's Hardware and Construction Supplies. Don't need that. Hey, 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 quit that stuff. Give me the ammo and things. Yes, I see the terminal to the left. Picking up all the random loot. I'm basically empty. Gary Greenwood's password. All right. Property of Gary Greenwood. Remote door control. Is it really remote if it's wired in and right there to my right? I'm just being persnickety. Get yourself a little holding room. Some dust floating in the air. Detective Penner's coat of bad luck. Trollman sunglasses. Detective Penner's note. Let's read that. The female's been missing for three weeks now. No suspects yet. Going to investigate the hardware store. Mikhail, possible suspect. June 5th, 2077. Crossing off Mikhail, his alibi checks. And usually a large shipment of, of his books to Gary Greenwood. Greenwood does not fit the profile. Visiting Greenwood again, his brother George might be good for it. What have I missed? Hmm... There we go. Find the spot. Work the sweet spot. A little bit more. Nice. Dish rag. Your safe cracker. I'll have to read that in a minute. Nice. Dear, sa dear safe cracker. Left a damp rag in the safe for your efforts. <laughs> Hope you die in a chemical fire. <laughs> Gary was salty. Let's see. Supplies. Nearly emptied my business account purchasing building supplies from Mikhail. Total bits for repairing the stairs. Have to stay calm. Hey, it's not like buying 200 cinder blocks is suspicious. It's a free country. Supplies shipped. Time to fix the problem and clean up. We use the rest to decorate the stairs in front of the house so the story checks out. What did you do, Gary? Fucking cop showed up at the door. While I was shoveling, I had to leave the hole unfinished. Pretend to have a headache so they would leave me alone. Did you kidnap and murder some girl? I hope encryption works on this file. I left the door open. The detective came down into the basement. What was I supposed to do? He is with them them now 
You run a Bates Motel or something? Find the secret in the basement. When it's sealed now, paint should be dry in one day. No one will ever find it unless a weak spot in the wall is found. Skill to see what that is. Code of bad luck. It's got luck of one. Only protects from five radiation. Weak spot in the wall. Alright, what's the new quest? Find out about Gary Green. I figured I'd have just done that. Find the secret in the basement. Hold up. That brick looks off. That brick looks off. How am I supposed to find a weak spot in the wall? It's just fun at this point. Take it. Find a weak spot in the wall. And how the heck? Detective, um, young lady, somebody else. Gary, I guess. I uh, wouldn't be buried himself. But yes, no, he was nasty. Let's go back to his um, long lost relative. Relative at the port and hand in all the information. That'll wrap that up nice. And I'll be playing and fiddling around on the island until I find that secret location, at which point I'll add it to this and we'll have another video. Wait a minute, there's that institute pl spot I found. I wonder if that's what opened up. This said required terminal. I haven't found a terminal for it. Definitely already require more hunting. Is that a purple thing? All right, where's dude? We got the cannibal, we got the humming dock rat that doesn't say or do anything. I hear you. There you are, Mr. Greenwood. Hey. Yeah, need you for a sec. Hello again. Did you find out about my ancestors? <sighs> yeah. So... What did you find out? Lie, they're good people. <laughs> ah. Truth. What? But, but how? <sighs> I've dedicated the last five years to this search. All for nothing. <sighs> Screw it. Nothing left for me to do here. Thanks for clearing that up for me. Here, take this for the trouble. Finish the quest. 
Hey, you went through trouble to build yourself a nice place. Away from all the craziness and the raiders and everything. Enjoy it. Even though everything gets wet regardless, damn you, Bethesda. All right, I'm off to search for secret stuff. Catch y'all in a split second for you. All right, random location on the map, out on the coast. Didn't see it before. And there's a person in a scuba suit. Can he salvage operations? Can he? Can he? <clears throat> hey, you. What's up? Uh, you can call me Kenny. What you need, bud? I run a salvage business, and I'd like to offer you my newest catch. I, uh, recently came into possession of this safe. Stainless steel. At least 240 years old. I can transfer ownership rights to you. For a fee. 500 caps. Why don't you open it yourself? Uh, logistics. Don't know how to crack it. Too heavy to carry to my ship. Why not? Here are your salvage rights papers. Thanks for the purchase. I'll get back to work. Not gonna be worth it, worth it but... Let's find out. Got it. Been caught lock, lock picking. Well, yes. New radar specialist. What was this? Not my safe? All right, what was that? Peter Here comes the deep water. Uh, anyway. What is this? Flatbird. To boss command from Baronwood Radar. That new radar specialist sent to us. I can't find his documents any anywhere in the Boston Command Archive. He from the West Coast? Oh, hello, gang. I th these guys are burying something. I think this is a random encounter I previously missed on the island. to win. So what are you doing? Just ask what you were doing. Chunks go. What are you doing in here, huh? Anything interesting? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. That sucks. Oh well, I had a thing I was getting to. <clears throat> Found it and had to abandon it. Very annoying. But I abandoned it before. 
actually going in. So, we get to share it together. If I can find it again. Oh, I'm way off. So, I don't know if it's the secret area or not. I've been scouring the island trying to find the secret area. Trying to find the terminal that opens up the Institute. Bunker door. Or is it Enclave? I think it's Institute. And I find this hidden down here on the coast. Let's go see what's inside. Bunker. Is it? T60 helmet, a leg, four mini nukes, ammo, 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 pistol, stuff. Little secret hidden thingy. Give me those. Night. Night Landsman's Terminal. Alright. <coughs> Let's do them in order. Bunker. Found an old bunker. East End appears to be safe. Jerk well enough for an observation bunker. Not much of a wordsmith. Was the night. Recon. This position is boring. <laughs> the whole city is deserted. However, the installation on the hill looks too well fortified and low key at the same time. Pre war listening post, radar. Entrances are magnet magnetically sealed. Melon. There is a patch of wild melons growing behind the bunker. It's scenic. On a clear day, I can see Boston from here. Melons appear to be edible. Lobster. There's a lobster. It comes in from the shore every morning. I think it likes eating melons. <laughs> Usually lo unusually large for a lobster, size of a cat. It sounds like good eating. Is this real life? Sometimes I can't help but wonder. Is everything due part of a greater plan, or do we just live in a world of perpetual chaos? I mean, in the wasteland, everything seems like chaos, but could it be part of a created world? Are we in a simulation in which everything we do is dictated by a being who created us? Eh. Un <sighs> These inaccessible doors all over the island have gotten really, really annoying. If it's not going to be something we can get to, put a section of wall there. Uh, let's go check out the melons and then I'll... Really? Really? You left the loading light spawn in place. It's annoying. Melon's up behind the bunker. Well, may as well see if I can find them. Hello. Do you mind? That's 
That's not a melon. But I'll take it. Buried bus. Okay, this was a cool idea. Institute food pack. Institute bottled water. So I'm saying they probably found it, like I just did. Interesting. That old... hidey hole place. But it still does not have the terminal. To unlock the other damn thing. Cool spot, though. Very nice. And so I keep hunting and finding more little random things around the island. But look at you guys. Don't attack me, I won't mess you up. Oh. Here's my institute fellow. No written records at all, dude? Really? Just none? Very disappointing. Still, it's morning time, and I'm still not finding the melons being feasted on by a lobster of unusual size. Oh. I clearly have not explored that yet. All right. Aaron. Small swarm. Not a challenge. Though, you fuckers pointlessly killed a red stag. Doe. A doe. Bugger you. Oh, did you used to be instituted also? Sucks to be you. Nothing but silt. Head to the back, head up top. The heck is that? Oh, it's one of those fun things that I can't actually pick up. All right, up we go. Not a, not even the guidance systems and stuff. Come on. Boring.
Ah, and no jetpack to get up top. Fine, be that way. Fine. All right. If I find the melons, love sort of unusual size likes to feast on. I'll toss that in. If not, I mean they may be gone by now, and melons could have been a key word for something else. So. I shall keep on exploring. What? I didn't get your dough. They did. And I killed them for it. Well, I killed them to kill them, but you know. Bugger off. Melon Coast. Actually popped up as such. Melon Coast. I guess technically this is out behind. Where's that Mirelark? Unusually a large lobster. Eh, once I unlock this, it'll probably pop back up. That's it. Yeah. Oh no, it's a fog crawler. I'm gonna steal your melons. Stealing all your melons. I didn't get them all yet. I didn't get them all yet. This is goofy beyond goofy. Yo, know, I'm being goofy, not this quest thingy. Hey, fog crawler. You're not really being proper aggressive. You okay? That was cool. Melon Queen. <laughs> That's cool. I don't really do much damage. That was cute. Peculiar door key. I'll take that. Okay. All right, gang, so it's supposed to be a secret place that opens up once you beat the main storyline. Well, I understand. It's the Northeast Cave. Now, yes, I did, in fact, find this earlier, but apparently it's supposed to open up for you once you beat the main game. The main storyline of the mod. So... Terminal somewhere. No. So, 
terminal's got this locked. I'm thinking there's a bug. I have searched for terminals everywhere. I'm gonna go do a quick search, see if I, you know, research the entire island one more time and see if I can find one. <laughs> ah, so. Once again, gang, I'm heading back to the northeast cave and... Did I run through a pond there somewhere? Yeah, apparently. It's a puddle. Anyway. <laughs> Little things. Heading back to the northeast cave. It is supposedly, apparently, supposedly supposed to open up the institute door once you beat the main game. Which I've done. I've spent the last week and a half since last spot of recording combing the island. Now obviously I haven't sat here yo every day every hour every day of the week. I've got work and everything. I put in hour or two a day combing the island section by section what would be yo military lingo. I've been gritting it off and checking area by area, section by section. Why does it say oh I that's right, I left power armor back in Baronwood. But I've been trying to find an institute terminal. It's supposed to open up even without a terminal, so... In-game time I've given it enough that, you know, a bunch of the mob spawns have been, you know, respawning. So let's come back and try it one more time. And terminal should open this. Uh, okay. Definitely means I wound up with a glitch, which doesn't surprise me considering I did half the you know, I did half the mod backwards. <laughs> Found the end of locations and went backwards to see the storylines and stuff. Mm, I haven't used this in forever. I mean literally like a year or so real life. But I occasionally used it to find things that like glitch through the floor. This is a Bethesda game, after all. Let's see if I remember it right. Hello? Do I? Hello? Can I get? No. No, I'm in the wrong thing. Um. No. Hello? How do I type? I'm going to try exiting and coming back again. One sec. Alright, let's try this again. Because apparently it is supposed to just be a room in that, that door. It's not like a, you know, transition point or spawn point type thing. Hello? How am I... Okay, I just can't see it. T-C-L... Toggle clip lock? Collision! Toggle collision. It's weird. Alright. Uh, see if it works and what's on the other side. Oh, yes, it is actually just a room. Fabulous. It's on, and I'm down. Okay. Ooh. I'll take that. Makes nice decorations. Stuff on tables. Inaccessible. Okay. One that actually means inaccessible. 
dog. Wolf Reed. We've got a mechanics jumpsuit and. Let's go through them. Start right here. <clears throat> On June 13th, 2016, my last remaining dog died. To distract myself from this, I booted the creation kit and started to work on this mod. Here we are now over a year later. I've been modding various games since I was a kid back in the 90s, starting with the Doom level editor. Oh lord. You can find a behind the scenes feature screenshot album here and it gives a imager.com such. You can read that. That sucks. <laughs> and like on cue, I'm sorry, that does suck, but it's like on cue. I clicked out of that and the cat meowed at me. She's in timeout in the dog crate at the moment. She decided to leap from one table over to where she knows she's not supposed to be and scatter a bunch of my Battletech mechs off a shelf. She shouldn't fit on it and shouldn't be there and she knows better because she immediately went and hid for a long time. All right. Meow meow. Baronwood credits. Oh! Neori, meow meow. Mail, soundtrack. Well, email, obviously. Soundtrack, casting call club. Alien code name. Cool. Voice actor for Justin. Creator's notes. Justin was created as a cannibal. Justine. Oh. Created as a cannibal without the stereotypical raider background. Instead, I attempted to come up with the idea of her ancestors being trapped French embassy staff in a vault. When I wrote the first script for her, I wrote, Would you look at all that hardware? For a native French person, the, that hardware is almost impossible to pronounce. <laughs> okay, cool. So these are end credit notes and such. That's, that's cool. I'll take the suit. Burnt books. Yeah. What's this? Additional writers, actors. Oh, sweet. All right. Baron Kretz. Corey is my waifu. All right. Lead writer on the Greenwood Crest. Miguel Dizon, 117. Richie, idea generation. Additional voice acting. Turd Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> Voice actor for the heist guy and party boy. MZ Behaven. Voice actor for Christine. Various holotypes. Holotypes. Bleh. Cassia. Voice actor for Dora. Unfortunately, Dora was cut from the mod simply because of the amount of work and other areas required to cut it to make an October release. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully she, hopefully she made it into another mod, though. I hate the development of a character that just never sees any any light or anything. Jimmy S. Additional writing for Landsman. Special thanks to the creators of the Fallout 4 edit tool. Sedan for his tutorials. Cool. Hat! J. Shrapnel. J. Shrapnel. YouTube, Twitter, oh, voice actor for Mr. Greenwood. Oh, it's contact points. Very cool. It's food, food back at... Those are like going on a shelf back at Vault 88 or something. Hmm. No, I know what I'll do with them. I work into my personal or little bits of, you know, Institute Survivors having taken up refuge in my various in some of my Minuteman settlements. I'm gonna hide some of those in like drawers or stick on a shelf type thing. You know, not being careful enough, they're gonna get caught. Drink Gamer Pete. Baron Wood credits Drink Game Repeat. Laura, casting call, Twitch. Hi, I'm Laura, AKA Drink Gamer Pete. Pretty much everywhere else. Thank you so much for playing this mod, and I hope you were nice to the little cat. If you want to hear more of my voice, you can always stop by my Twitch, YouTube, or casting call. Oh, 
Club. Stay lovely lovelies. Voice actor for Synth Cat AI Doc Rat. I destroyed this institute long, long ago. So the Synth Cat and the Greenhouse, the Cat in the Greenhouse is a Synth Cat. It'll talk to you if you're pro institute. I'm not, so it just meowed. Too bad to get it hear her voice. Jam, Jamwell, Jamwell. Hmm. Maybe there'll be phonics in here. Jamwell, Samuel Brewer, voice actor for Kenny. Cool. Never not ninja. Never not ninja. Paul Warren, casting call clubs. Voice actor for Carlton, bitrate, bitrate, yeah, bitrate, the Thinking Man, various characters on holotapes. Carlton was one of the first NPCs for the mod. The idea was to have a classic crazy robot mixed with a hint of post World War II anti-communist hysteria. Cool. The like Carlton was the one I killed in the house for killing the little girl. M65 jacket. What does that do? Let's find out right quick. Five energy resistance. That's it. Okay. I'm sure I'm missing some special lore thingy or something. There, surgical mask. Grab that. Love those for mannequins. I've got spy mannequins. that I've got, you know, various outfits on just to cover the face so it looks better, more complete. Complete the circuit. We'll read that, then listen to the tape. Voice actor for Gabriel. Oh, okay. So complete the circuit. Ox Kane. Creator's note. Gabriel was the last addition originally planned as a relaxed, easygoing ghoul. Later I developed him into a pivotal character that has been on the island a very long time. Yeah, he was a soldier here. Was that missing new engineer they mentioned, wasn't he? Probably. I'm just gonna play this. Hi there, my name's Alex Kane. Online I got to complete the circuit and I'm a voice actor for Fallout Baron Wood. Thanks for playing the mod. It's been a really fun experience for me. I hope you've had at least half as much fun playing it as I've had voicing in it. The character you've heard me most prominently as in this mod is Gabriel the Ghoul. Um, yeah, cheers. Thanks. <laughs> Why, thank you. All right. I think that finishes everything up. One moment. Don't want to get stuck. All right. Meet you at Smooth Boards Lament. One sec. Well, gang, I hope you have all enjoyed my little exploration of Barrenwood. Give the mod team a little love. Take a look at it. Enjoy it. Explore it. Enjoy it. Explore it yourself if you're still playing around with Fallout 4. I've done quite a few, and this was... It was fun. And it was well put together. I didn't run into a lot of glitches and problems that I have with some others. Go on down to Smooth board, Smooth Boards Lament. With that, though, get a little look at what I've done down here so far while I outro monologue a bit. If you know of any other world spaces or, you know, cool mods and such. Personally, I love world spaces more than, like, equipment mod type things. One. Thank you. Leave that down in the comments with any thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions you might happen to have. Turn the house that was originally over here into... Right, here's my scavenger. Some food growing, barricades to keep out attackers, and the general store. The first thing that would normally develop in any good settlement. 
Yeah, I've got the creative color. <laughs> I enjoyed this place. I didn't have a lot of, I didn't have glitches or anything except for that door at the end. So I'm probably going to keep this installed and keep it as part of my expanded Minuteman territory. Gradually build more on out here. I think I've got six people living here right now. Eventually. So many tar berries. This and the main barren wood will be built up into massive and entertaining settlements. What are the additions to the new commonwealth? I think that's pretty much it for now. So, I already did the thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions down below. So ding that like or dislike. Oh, I thought I left the power armor here. No. Oh well. You want to make sure YouTube lets you know when I put out new content. Go ahead and hit or ding that notification bell. More important than any of it, though. I usually say, been saying for years, more important than any of that, any of this. If there's something or someone important to you, then whether it's up and out, face to face, or from behind your terminal, or just picking up the phone to check on someone. Get involved, make a difference, be someone that matters. Or simply though, live the life of a PC. Don't just be a NPC walking around and supporting in the background, or worse yet, failing to support. Obscured and unimportant to the background. Make a difference. Be someone that matters. But take care. Stay safe. I am there, Tickly Grunt. I hope to catch you back again soon. But for now, I'm out from here. Bye.